Zimbabwe has agreed to pay $3.5 billion in compensation to white farmers whose land was taken by the government to resettle black families, moving a step closer to resolving one of the most divisive policies of the Mugabe era. We have taken uh, this farm. There's only one problem. The Southern African nation doesn't have the money. If you want it, one year, That's according to the compensation agreement, signed on Wednesday, which says that instead long-term bonds will be issued and the government will jointly approach international donors with the farmers to raise funding. Two decades ago, Mugabe's government carried out at times violent evictions of 4,500 white farmers and redistributed the land to around 300,000 black families arguing it was redressing colonial land imbalances. They must vacate those farms. They must vacate those farms. Under Wednesday's agreement, white farmers will be compensated for infrastructure on the farms and not the land itself. Details of how much each individual farmer or their descendants would get was not yet clear, but the government said it would prioritise the elderly when making settlements. Mugabe's program still divides public opinion in Zimbabwe, with opponents seeing it as a partisan process that left the country struggling to feed itself. But supporters saying it empowered landless black people. President Emerson Mnangagwa said land reform could not be reversed, but the paying of compensation was key to mending ties with the West.